Hello again, I'm Robert Hadlock. Leslie Rohde has the night off. More fallout this evening from the Austin City Council's decision not to pay the family of Nathaniel Sanders $750,000. Sanders was shot and killed by an Austin police officer last year, but this week a federal judge issues a strongly worded order telling council members what to do next. KXAN City reporter Reagan Hackelman joins us live with an in-depth look at this ruling. And Reagan, it sounds like the judge isn't very happy with how the city, city council has handled things so far. Well, Robert, not at all. Judge Sam Sparks actually called the recent failed settlement a waste of taxpayer dollars, and he also said it put a backlog at his inside of his federal court. Now, to make his point, he reset the trial to November of 2011, nearly a year and a half after it was originally scheduled to start. The judge is both a quarterback and referee. He calls all the shots. <laughs> and the rules. Council member Cheryl Culp, who is a lawyer, voted for the settlement last week. This week, she's not surprised council received an order from U.S. District Judge Sam Sparks Monday evening. In the three-page order, Judge Sparks expresses his frustration with the city after city lawyers tell the judge there's no need for a trial because a settlement has been reached. He expects us to back our lawyers or when they come before him and they say that they have authority, that that is true. But that's not what happened last Thursday. Council narrowly voted to reject the settlement. Now Judge Sparks has placed new rules on this case and future court cases. For the Sanders case, the order says all seven city council members must be part of any future settlement discussions. The order also states that the city is no longer allowed to settle cases in federal court if the trial is less than 25 days from starting. Clearly, by the, the tone of this letter, <laughs> Judge Sparks is not uh, happy with the way things have turned out. KXAN legal analyst Mindy Monfort says the judge's order as a whole isn't that unusual, but... This is well within his discretion to, uh, you know, to make these orders. But to order the city council to attend, that is a little unusual. Now, Councilmember Cole tells us that she hopes a settlement can be reached one less than $750,000 before the November 2011 trial. Judge Sparks also says that so far this case has cost American taxpayers a substantial amount of money. He is not saying how much, but we have been told by some legal experts it could be anywhere between three hundred dollars and $700,000. Reporting live from downtown Austin, Reagan Hackelman, KXA in Austin News.